Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. A few years ago, my friend Paul and I, we walked over 18 months the entire North Downs Way in Southern England, from April 2017 to the beginning of November 2018, over about 10 or 11, 12 walks. Presented here are those individual walks that we've originally videoed and I put on my old channel, MEV Productions, but I've coloured them up a bit, spruced them up, done a little bit of a remaster, um, and it's a load of videos about the North Downs Way. There is, of course, the movie version, which I'll link below, um, but these are remastered videos of the North Downs Way walk that Paul and I did. It's 153 miles from Farnham in Surrey to Dover in Kent via the Canterbury Loop. It was a fascinating trip over those 18 months. Really enjoyable, a few steep climbs, but we got there in the end. In this ninth video, we're going from Charing to Chilham, and it was 12 miles. Enjoy. It's Paul and I, we're just getting the train back to Charing, parked at Chilham. We did indeed. Uh, this is walk nine, we're doing Chilham, uh, sorry, Char <laughs> Charing to Chilham. Um, stopping off at Broughton Lees for uh, lunch at the Flying Horse, I think it's called. Yes, Flying Horse, a nice bit, yeah. bit of lunch, yeah. a bit of a pint. Yeah. Glorious morning, very sunny. Uh, a bit fresh, but that's fine. Uh, lovely, so here we go. Here we are in lovely Charing. Well, we're walking back up to where we left off last time. It's very nice, a lovely village is Charing. So, this is where we left off last time. And I can uh, bear right here, past this lovely grand old building. We're back on the North Downs Way. So it's a gorgeous morning. We've got a nice early start. We've got the earlier train. So it's only like 10 o'clock. So not that early. Nah. It's not like 6 o'clock in the morning. 7.30 start. From yeah, from Surrey. From that house, yeah. It's uh, pleasantly turning quite warm now, so it's uh, very nice. If you look over here, got some lovely llamas in the field. Uh, one wonders in ancient times whether this three-way pathway would have been such a superstitious uh, area. Interesting. But uh, soldiering on. Indeed. Soldiering on as we head all that way. We actually found our first pillbox in Kent, which makes sense since we're near, sort of not that far from Dover. I should say this is our ninth walk. We've got about, we're doing the Canterbury Loop, so we say about three, four more walks probably. Yeah, three, four to Dover, and then another two or three to get back to the other end of the loop. Yeah, southern. We thought, we'd let's do Canterbury, because Canterbury is obviously one of the most gorgeous cities in the world, with the cathedral and everything. Um, so we can show you a bit of that. And why not? Basically, why not? Now, look, come on Kent. Pilgrim's Way again. I know we're actually on the proper Pilgrim's Way at the moment, but really you've got to think of some alternative names for your streets. Very nice so far. Getting a bit warm now. I've got too thick a layer on. It's lovely. Just quickly take a photo. So we walked out onto quite open fields, a little spot of rain in the air which we're trying to avoid. Just in case they want to make an English version of Children of the Corn. Loads of it here. Or we can make a crop circle. I know we're out of season but okay, where are we? You're now in Eastwell Park. A modern walled mansion dominates the view and soon home farms it appears more coyly on your left. Mm. <laughs> Coy. going off path a second because we wanted to visit the ruin St Mary's Church which looks absolutely extraordinary. This is truly amazing. It's amazing. There's a lake. I really recommend coming here. I can actually get in here. Wow. 
graffiti, which I suppose you would expect. And lunch at the Flying Horse. So we just had a very nice lunch in this Flying Horse. Flying Horse. It's now that horrible spitty rain. So I've, I've christened my new waterproof. And we're heading off the next section, down to Chillum. So here we go. Without trying to get run over. Yeah. It's being pretty constant with the rain at the moment. It's not really heavy, but it's that horrible drizzly one. But we're edging forward. Okay, this is a significant turn point. Uh, if you're going straight to Dover, you carry on down that way. We are doing the Canterbury Loop. So, we're going that way. Farnham, 98 miles. We've walked 98 miles so far, plus probably about five on top of that, I would think. So. Yeah, so we're now going to Dover via Canterbury, which is 30 miles. miles that way. So, uh, yeah, we're a little bit more to the route than well, I think most people do the Canterbury Loop, don't they? I would have thought so. Yeah. 25 fire folks. Yeah, so here we go. Okay, well, I thought we were going to Broughton. What's it called? Broughton? Aloof. <laughs> We're not, we're following it this way. Oh, I think we are actually going towards there, yeah. Look at it on the map. Although it's only a little bit of rain. Still nice, hot. Yeah, we're just saying there's a nice church here. With the Norman Tower. Very nice. A bit muddy now. This big open field. Now we're going through this little mini cathedral of trees. Oh, it's nice to be undercover again. You know that spitty rain that's really annoying? Either rain hard or not, make up your mind. Uh, it's reading time. It's going, uh, surprise, that way. Yeah, funny enough. Yeah. We're going the right way. Ooh! So we walk along this path, to our left is King's Wood. It's a very, very vast amount of land. It used to be a hunting ground, is that correct, Paul? You assume so. You assume so, yeah. Given the name. Yeah, King's Wood. Before we got to the lunch stop for out and lead, it pretty much hadn't stopped raining, has it? But hey, one of those things, we're still enjoying it. Not too heavy. Makes the, uh, no, it's not too heavy. Makes the trees look quite vivid. But we should soldier on. So Paul and I have just come across another Way marker. Way marker. You're good. Farnham, 103 miles that way, where we've come from. Canterbury is 10 miles that way. And Dover is 28 miles that way. So you've got an idea how much we've got left to do. Yeah. So yeah, nearing the end. We'll try and do it by the end of the year if we can. If not, we're going to January. Weather permitting, of course. Okay, here's not. a sign here saying this is the uh, uh, first sighting of Canterbury Cathedral as we walk along the route. Now, if you can see from the weather, it's overcast, it's raining, so I don't think we are going to see Canterbury yeah. Cathedral 7.5 miles away, which I was really looking forward to, so... <laughs> we'll have to get up close with it, won't we, Paul? I know. Yeah. We'll have it's to get up close, yeah, but, yeah, here we go. I'm not doing the bit again. Nah, that would be just <laughs> heaps of wrong. Yeah. So we're going to carry on down there, we might see it, we we'll might see not. see it closer up. Yeah. Heading down to Chillum. All good? Yes. Good. Rain. <laughs> Ruining my hair. Away with you. We'll oh. definitely ruin my hair. So now on the outskirts of Chillum and journey's end for today. Yeah, nice walk, apart from the rain. So Paul, enjoyed it? Yes, good. An experience. An experience uh, before. So into Chillum, the lovely village of Chillum, which is one of the most beautiful villages I think I've ever seen. Um, so next time, we're now on the Canterbury Loop, so we're going into Canterbury next time, which means it's pretty easy for us to get down. We can get down from East Croydon and then get a train to here. And then we'll it's slightly nicer than East Croydon. Yeah, yeah, slightly nicer than East Croydon. So thanks very much for joining us. I'll show you a little bit of uh, Chillum, which is lovely, and we'll see you next time. Great. And here we are back in Chillum.